up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you guys. Um, today, we're going to dive right into the brown amplification protein. I am super late to the game on this. Upfront apologies about that. I've heard about this pedal for years now, um, at least two years, I think. Um, and a lot of my friends own it, love it. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. I'm a fan of dual overdrives. I do like me a good dual overdrive pedal. And I have a couple of them um, throughout the years, the Gladio SC, King Tone, um, Duelist, things like that. And this thing, what I love about this is it's different. So I've never ever played a Nobles ODR1. This first side over here, which is the green side, indicated by that lovely green LED, um, is uh, based on a Nobles ODR1 from what I understand. And the left side, the blue side, is more of a modded blues breaker style circuit, which I love blues breakers. So up front right away, you don't have to wait till the end of this video because I'm all about doing this up front. I love this thing. It's great. It's one of the best dual overdrive pedals I've ever played in my entire life. And out of the ones that I've played this year, I mean, I've played several. So um, this one is different than other ones that you've seen me play on this channel. And there's another one that I'm absolutely in love with too. Um, I have three dual overdrives right now that I sometimes go into a gig. I'm like, which one should I put on tonight? <laughs> and they're different flavors. And that's what's really cool about this. But the protein, when I first plugged this in and played through that right side, the green side, I was absolutely blown away of like the compression, the like give that this thing has. When you, You've got to play it to really feel it. But you'll, you'll hear guitar players say all the time, how's it feel under the fingers? This thing feels great. So let's dive right in. We're going to use the Josh Williams Mockingbird through the Two Rock Bloomfield Drive. And here is the clean signal on the bridge pickup. <laughs> There we go. So it's breaking up a tiny, tiny bit on the bridge pickup. On the neck, this is what it sounds like. Just a tiny bit of hair. But let's put the uh, the right side on here. Let's go to the blues breaker side. sides are great. I had to juice the, the tone a bit because I felt like it was, uh, uh, even though I, I juiced up the gain too, it's kind of, it feels like that side of the circuit 
is a little bit kind of less gamey in a way, I would say, but not in a bad way at all. In fact, when you stack them, it's perfect because you want something that's going to be different flavors on top of each other really punch. So let's go to the neck pickup and let's do the same thing. second that's okay it's rock and roll folks all right let's go to middle position <laughs> switches too. These soft switches are, are really nice under the feet. Um, all right. So now that we've done that, I want to talk a little bit about juice and the tone knobs and the gain knobs just to kind of see how they feel between each other. So let's do that real fast. I'm going to stay on the bridge pickup because I want to punch myself in the ear drum, right? <laughs> Here we go.
these settings right here, what I just did, is mind blowing in this room. It sounds awesome. All right, same thing. Let's do it with the uh, blues breaker side. <laughs> I mean, there's so much ground to cover here with this stuff. Um, now, the real magic of this thing, stacking both of these together. So let me um, let me do that. And, and you heard in the opening little demo thing I did, the little song, I had the lead channel or the lead sound was both of those stacked together. So let's just go in and get this thing Let's set the world on fire, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
I have no further comments. It is awesome. It's super tone shapeable. Like everything about this pedal, it, they have everything that you need in terms of the tone knob is very adjustable. The amount of gain, it doesn't like this pedal. It doesn't seem to me like like some overdrive pedals when you start turning up the gain, all of a sudden like the it just jumps like from five to. 50. Um, this is a really nice taper on it and it just gets it gets dirty right at the right spot. Like right when you're looking for it, if your ear's looking for it and, and when you're turning it, you can grab it pretty quickly. Um, and like, I don't know, I would just say it is not a pedal to overlook. Like the hype is real. <laughs> I guess this is what I'm trying to get across. So everybody, thank you for stopping in and watching this video. I'm trying to make these a little shorter, less talking, more playing, and uh, yeah, hit me in the comments below. What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? You have questions? Hit me up. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time.